Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. It's time for another episode of Minecraft Bedrock Edition on the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, I have my Peter Place base. I'm no longer Emu, Destroyer of Worlds or whatever, and it's no longer that derpy-toothed robot, but me in the picture. So that's nice. That worked. I did a little bit of work in this world off camera in between episodes. That first episode was the very start. I don't know if new achievements are going to roll in as the game sort of realize I've done some stuff not signed in because the stuff I did off camera I did away from the internet so we'll see but I'll give you a real quick world tour this this you remember this is our little hut wow it's thundering that's cool I expanded the garden and planted some birch trees so I've been farming wheat and birch there I caught a sheep actually I caught two And I see some wool and meat down here and one sheep. So fortunately, there is another one. How am I going to keep this guy from escaping? I guess the worst he could do is go inside. Okay, did I pick up the meat and the wool? I think I did. Okay, you stay in there, please. Uh, actually, this goes like this. Okay, I caught two sheep. Now it's just one, but I actually caught another one and a cow uh, over yonder. I, holy smokes, it's lightninging big time. Okay, let's open up that again and get rid of that. Oh, I'm wearing, let's see, I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> a zombie attacked me out of the blue and got a couple hits in on me, and then he dropped an enchanted leather hat. I think it's protection three. Uh, let's take a quick look. Gosh, I'm remembering the buttons. Get rid of that. Okay, leather cap. Oh, projectile protection three, excuse me. Uh, I grabbed some of this and spread it around the uh, the bamboo, the cane, the sugar cane, the paper stuff, uh, which is nice. And then, um, let's see, do I have any wheat on me? I don't, let's grab some real quick. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Uh, the reason I did some off-screen grinding is because I wanna have enough wood to do what I wanna do and uh, enough bread that I can just eat and be fine. Um, I actually caught a cow, sort of by mistake, and stuck him in here, and a sheep, and they're both gone. So, thanks, Minecraft. Um, that was, for those keeping track, that was three sheep and one cow. And now it is uh, one sheep and zero cows. So I don't know why. Uh, if someone, that's a two by three hole. If someone wants to explain it to me, let me know. They were surviving while they were alive. It just seems to be turning off the game and turning it back on that did it. Okay, as long as I'm out here, let's grab some of this, and then I'll I'll show you what I've done inside. Um, not too much. I haven't gone too far. I haven't done too much. I've dug some tunnels. Well, I got this little guy back here, so we can go around that waterfall. Um, I've spread this stuff as far as I care to, so now it's just collection. I'm not planting anymore. Um, I just don't, I don't want to have 30 levels of experience and all the leather I need and the obsidian and the diamonds to do some enchanting and just not have the paper <laughs> to make the books. Um, so I'm just trying to get ahead of the game that way. Let's see, I'm at 14 levels experience. Have no obsidian yet, no diamonds yet. Uh, but that's okay. That's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to try to, we're going to try to expand a little. I think we're going to make a map and see how that works. It might be a zoomed in map compared to what I'm used to. I'm sorry you're lonely, little buddy. Here, eat eat this wheat and know that I love you. Okay. Um, yeah, so we don't need to farm out here. We've got plenty of, plenty of stuff. I'll show it to you. Okay, so we're up to three chests. I guess I'll put the meat in there. As you can see, we have two stacks plus 10 iron ingots. Uh, found some clay, dug that up, baked it into bricks. And, um, yeah, it's kind of miscellaneous. Here's blocks, some gravel, a lot of cobblestone. Standard. Okay, and then over here is, like, planty stuff. So you can see we've got almost three stacks of wheat, uh, a couple of stacks of seeds, even a half stack of birch saplings, and one, two, three, almost four stacks of birch logs. Also now, one wool. Um, what I was hoping to do was make a bed... And I suppose I still could. Uh, we can craft this here. 
like this. I'm getting a little more used to the buttons um, in Bedrock, but I still don't, like, love it. Okay, I want those. I gotta come up with a better system eventually here. I just wanted to do the minimum to... to oh my. Lots of thunder to sort of trap this guy. I do. Okay, now I have enough for a bed. So let's... We need a bed. That is something that we need. Holy smokes, is that lightning loud for you guys? I will turn down... What do I need? I need wood. We'll just take this whole almost stack. Then we can do this. Yeah. See, quick move ought to move it up into there, in my opinion. But what can you do? Okay, now we can hold A and drag like that, which is kind of cool. That'll come in handy for... Ugh, you gotta hit him exactly, though. Oh, I haven't held A. I held A the whole time, I think. Okay, a bed. Our first bed. Um... I guess we'll stick that back here. Because why not? Just need somewhere to sleep. Cool! This is the first time I've slept in this world. <clears throat> yeah, so this is a... Pfft, I'm so far behind on my commentary, I'm just talking about this. Um... This is Sunday long play. That means casual gameplay, casual commentary, and when it comes to Minecraft, it means Minecraft uncut. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, for those of you who are not, you know that there's a 10 episode Switch solo survival vanilla world. And, okay, so we got a furnace and a crafting table here. And I dug all the way to zero, zero uh, down here at bedrock level. Y equals five, as you can see. And there's also a 42 episode Wii U slash Nintendo Switch console edition. Okay, so here's 00, zero right here. Um, and I've dug a couple of hallways along the X equals zero corridor. And we're gonna visit both because there's something important that I need to show you. Okay, so torches on the ground mean you did something off camera and you want to finish it on camera, so make sure to go this way. And look! Diamonds. Our first diamonds of the series. How great is that? I'm gonna not eat that last bread. So let's see how many we got. Oh, at least two. At least four. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that there's no lava around. Because this game does not quite... Uh, does it seem dark at the corners of the screen? That's weird. I'm not used to that. Um, by the way, I'm going to get rid of those button prompts eventually. But I still find them useful. It's not quite yet. Okay, looks like we have six. Which is awesome. I like to get five right away. And the reason for that... Okay, I feel safe about this one. The reason for that... There, there's one diamond. Our first one. The reason for that is because with five, you can make a diamond pick and an enchantment table. And then from there, you can harvest the rest with uh, fortune, which is very important. Okay, so that's all that's down this hallway. Okay. So it seems like we have at least one more, although there might be lava above that or even another diamond above that. Okay, we have a third hallway along X equals zero right here. And... Um, this does make it all the way to zero, zero. I hear that skeleton. Oh, you know what? I should have seen that coming. So here's what we're gonna do about that. We're gonna wreck this downstairs hallway in order to save some time. There we go. Okay, so here is zero, zero, right here, where this torch is. And you can see I've dug out a fair ways uh, for each of these hallways, but th that is the way home, wait. That is the way home. Wait. That is the way to diamonds. That is the way to adventure. This... is the way home. Okay, how are we gonna know that? Uh... Like that. Okay, so let's scope out these diamonds first, and then we'll scope out the adventure, and then we will make a map. Okay, so we've got at least four here. Let's see if we have more.
Oh, uh, there's some gold, too. I have not picked up any gold without you guys, so there is our first gold of the world. Boop, right there. And it looks like it may just be four diamonds, unless there's some above or below. Nothing above that. Nothing above that. Yeah, so four more diamonds. So uh, five total unharvested diamonds right now. That's the way we came. Okay, there's some redstone, there's some gold. I guess we could collect the gold on camera. But then I want to... Well, that's actually a good idea because I want to use some gold and redstone to make a map. So we'll grab this too. And look, level 15, we're doing good. Uh, yeah, so this... This is... Uh, this is what we're all about. Um, I would be interested in hearing from you guys how you feel about me doing stuff off camera in between episodes. Oh yeah, adventure. It's probably a bad idea. You know what? This is the way home, right? Let's uh, make a crafting table. And then... Uh, we'll move that to here and boop and make ourselves a uh, chest to leave some stuff behind in because this is um, not old console version where I can just disable autosave and uh, l uh, quit without saving anytime something terrible happens. So yeah, we'll put half the wood in there. Um, we don't need this diorite. We'll keep the cobble on, on us for now. Okay, let's go check out what this adventure is all about. But yeah, this is, uh, this is the deal with this world. Um, we could go back to the old world, uh, the Switch console edition that started on Wii U, actually, if you'd like. Um, just let me know. Uh, we could try converting that to Bedrock. I said in episode one that I wasn't crazy about that idea because, um... I thought it that it would break all of my nether portal stuff. Like, the portals wouldn't sync up the way they do now. But somebody told me on Reddit that um, worlds converted to bedrock... Oh, look, there's the adventure. Worlds converted to bedrock would indeed uh, keep their nether to overworld ratio. So, uh, in that world, every six blocks in the overworld is one block in the nether. But in this world, which is infinite, uh, every eight blocks in the overworld is one in the nether. So, kind of concerning. If that happens to my other world, none of it will make sense. Okay, not much adventure here, actually. Um, is this the second? Well, this is the first one. So, maybe we can come down here. And find something good. Huh. Okay. This is a big room. This is kind of interesting. Oh, oh, what was that? Air? Couldn't breathe? That's iron. Okay, it seems as though we've reached the end of this adventure already. Which is fine. It wasn't really the point of the episode, but, uh... Nice to know that's there. Okay. Okay. We can grab some iron or whatever off camera again later if we want to. For now, it is time to grab these. And you know what? We might as well just do it. Let's make one of these. Nope. Okay. And boom. Okay, that's good to have. Can we leave the rest of this in here? I guess we might as well take it with us. Uh, we could leave some wood behind. It's kind of nice. Wood is handy. I'll gather that up later if I need to. And where are we? We're at Y equals 11. Okay, so that's our last sort of underground adventure. Now it's time to make a map and see what we got going on in this world around us. I'm gonna go ahead and leave those torches on the ground there because they represent diamonds and there are indeed diamonds that we can go get. Oh, come on, eat the bread. Okay, run. Uh, wait, wrong way. We're trying to go back up, aren't we? can't believe I slept to make it day just to go down into the mines. Okay, run, jump. Oh, you know what also would be good to do while we're at it is make some iron armor. I've been holding off making armor, um, but I couldn't not pick up the uh, 
uh, whatchamacallit, um, that enchanted helmet. Okay, there was one in there, that's fine. So let's grab, let's see, what do we need? We need 24 to do what we want to do here. And I think we might as well make a sword too. Okay, so let's see. This is the first time I've drawn iron. Drawn, uh, whoop. Okay, we don't want to make three. Craft and take, that's why. This is why it's good that I still have the buttons. Okay, if we move these to here and we gather these up. Now there's a quick way to do this where you like, you lay it out all fancy. Uh, let's do pants like that. And then what are we missing? Just the booties. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we'll put, um, we need sort of like a precious things thing. Yeah, we'll go ahead and swap that out for just iron. Okay, I feel a little better now. Why do I have two helmets? Did I make two helmets? I must have. Oh well. We got iron for days. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's see, blocks can go down here. Okay, and now it's time to make some paper. I guess I'll just grab all this. How do we make paper? That's sugar. That's paper. So we can make 48 pieces of paper. That's good. Um, and along with that, we'll grab our gold and redstone. Here's some redstone. And here's some gold. Good. Okay, now. I'm going to make a compass. I think it's like this. Now sometimes I press A and it takes one and sometimes I press it and it takes all. That, what is that? That's a clock. That's nothing. How does one make a compass? Maybe it's iron. See, this is part of the fun of uh, old school Minecraft. Uh, two, three, four. I forgot that gold was... Yeah, that's a compass, okay. So let's make... Let's go ahead and make two of those for now. So when we start working on a map wall, uh, we'll have two of these map zeros. Although, I'm not so certain how that all works. Now I know that if you take an existing map, whoops, messing this up. If you take an existing map, empty locator map, and you stick it in here, you can get a larger map. But does it have to be a used map? Or well, I guess I don't know it. This used to be true, or yeah, that's not anything. Okay, so I get that paper back. I think I did. Let's put this map here and try using it and see what happens. Oh wow, I've already been here. It's way zoomed in. Okay, so let's try uh let's try this now. I thought this was how this worked. Okay, so Oh yeah, map level one of four. I wonder what default is. Let's zoom it out again. Uh, and then we can do some exploring. So you guys can see how far I've been. And the answer is not very. Okay, what's 204? That looks like it might be standard. But I don't know. Okay, let's put the, okay, let's get off of that. Let's put the paper in here. because it's related to the sugar cane. Nothing else needs to go in there. Everything else can go in here. Gold, that, we don't even need this. Or this. I do want this though. 
I can stick this in my, my offhand, can I? Is that the shield logo? I can, yeah. Well, the coordinates aren't on it, though, but that's okay. Oh, look, it's night. So, I'm going to take a sip of water here. All right, all right, all right. So, let's see. Okay, so this is zero, 0, though, and it's not in the middle of the map. So, I don't know how to do, like, a map wall or whatever. But what I, one of the things I want to discover is a cow. I'll just admit it. Okay, I can't not do that. Okay, now I've got some wheat on me, so I can. There's a sheep. Where's a cow? Should probably have my sword out. I wish it was an iron sword. Okay, so this is south. So if I go this way and or sort of cheat to the left as I go, hi! Haha, <laughs> bye. Um, then we'll uncover some more of this map. It's interesting to me, though, that zero, zero is not in the middle of the map. I kind of don't like it. But I do love how fast we swim. Okay. So we're armed with our armor. And lighting glitches are still a thing. Even though it's bedrock. I know we've already spent some time underground, so I'm not going to do much of this kind of thing. Just want to sort of light it up. See if we can give ourselves a scare with a creeper or something. That would be kind of fun. Nope, nothing. It'd be cool if every once in a while there was a treasure chest in a cave. And maybe it just has some, like, old bread in it or something. But still, it would be cool. Uh, can you die, Mr. Pig? I'm trying to... Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm not really f want for food, but I don't have carrots. And I'm not going to capture these guys and breed them. And, frankly, they might be getting in the way of cows and sheep spawning by simply existing. So we're going to kill... The passive mobs. The ones that you can eat. Also, pigs aren't good for anything but food. Okay, remember where we're from. I like this big... Uh, almost said spruce forest. Birch forest. Uh, but we've got birch for days, so I'm not really interested in pillaging any of this. Alright, let's see if we can find some adventure... Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, that would be good for... Wow, this is a big forest, according to the map. The map really grows for a wide radius. That's because the, the render distance is 14 chunks, which is better than it was in console edition, which is very nice. Um, although there's no... remarkable things showing up on the map. So for now, we'll just kind of keep heading south... East, I suppose. Um, maybe I should grab some flowers for the sake of coloring stuff. But eh, I'm just not too worried about it yet. That's a, that's a later game thing. Can you run, please? Thank you. No, you stopped. My Steve is not very well behaved. Maybe it's the controller. I really don't know if I'm going to break down and buy a pro controller... Or if I'm going to get another pair of Joy-Con. Uh, what would you do? What have you done? Do you have, do you have a Nintendo Switch and more than one uh, controller beyond just what the stock was that came with the console? Let me know. What was it? What are we going to find here? We found a nice little river slash sea. Let's go in this direction and see what we can see. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. But the other side of the mountain was all that he could see, so we went back over the mountain to see what he could see. But the first side of the mountain was all that he could see. Uh, you get um, two cool points and three you should be embarrassed points uh, if you understand those references. Uh, uh, don't get hurt. Okay. Is that a mushroom? No. I do love new worlds. You know what we should do while we're out? Let's grab ourselves some oak and some oak saplings, because then I will feel free to farm that. Uh, let's move some of this stuff off of the hot bar. And... Let's see if we can get ourselves an oak sapling. Or maybe an apple. A 
leaves seem to disappear a little quicker in this version of the game, which I very much appreciate. Come on, give me a sapling. Maybe one of these will. The sounds seem a little different, too, in this version of the game. There's little differences. You know, the particles of when a thing is destroyed is more... Oh, this is one of those cool trees. I don't like cutting these down, honestly. And we, see, there, I pressed A again, and it only took one. What's the deal with that? I think I put one of those trunks in sideways. Sue me. Did I destroy this one? I did. So, is it going to give me a sapling? There we go. I got a sapling. Okay, can I get another one? Should I have made a second bed? Are we going to run out of daylight? It seems to be high noon right now. I think it's okay if we get caught out. We've got um, iron armor. Only a stone sword. I kind of do wish I'd upgraded to an iron sword. Okay, it looks like we've got some interesting sort of rivery stuff going on here, which is cool. Oh, hi, sheep. Um, do I have my shears on me? I do. So if we... Oh, shoot. I should have sheared him right before he did that. You can get kind of double the wool from them if you shear them and then they eat and then you shear them and kill them. But shearing them and then killing them is better. Uh, although I expected maybe sheared sheep don't drop wool. That would make sense. That would be smart and interesting. Okay, we're going to try to make... Oh, look, it's red. We're going to try to make a loop back towards... Back in the direction of home. I'm swimming. Swimming to shear ya. Oh, fancy meeting you here by sheer coincidence. Let's see if you drop any wool. No. So, cool. Uh, item drops behave differently in the water than they used to in bedrock. They, um, they float. Or they sort of hover a few blocks beneath the surface instead of just all sinking straight to the bottom. And they can also spread out too, which makes a lot of sense. I died once off camera, um, and I died in the water, and all my stuff sort of spread out. And it was funny. What direction am I heading? I want to go more due north here. Hello, Leaf. So yeah, I do need to know from you guys, though, um, what to be doing in Sunday Long Play. Uh, more of this world, more of the old world. Is anyone interested in seeing both? Understanding that that means you'll probably see a little less of each than you would if we did just one or the other. Is this one of those trees that goes wide? No? Can we get another sapling? Oh, sorry, axe. I hate breaking leaf blocks with the axe because it just feels like a waste of durability. It's a waste of iron. I'm a frugal player. Uh... But I'm a little less frugal than I used to be. Ted helps with that. Um, if anyone doesn't know, and I don't know why you wouldn't, Ted and I do dual commentary videos every day here in the basement, except for Sundays, um, where it's just me. And sometimes in the evenings he streams. Is it getting darker? No. Why does the sky do that? M maybe to make the sun seem brighter. Interesting. Did I get any more saplings? There's one. Okay. I was going to say, what a stingy game. I don't remember oak being so hard to come by. Turns out it's not. Okay, so we live in the northwest corner of this map that we're looking at right now, and is very much in just past that snowy area. That's a tall mountain right there. Oh, it's an extreme hills, and I did find um, one emerald ore that I left alone, and will continue to leave alone until we gain uh, silk touch. The pickaxe. Hello, pig. I'm afraid you must die. Oh, should I have made a boat? Oh, look how oceany it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, the sun's gonna, the sun's going down though. We're heading west. We're chasing the sunset right now, which is fine. I just ran out of hunger. I mean, I just had an abundance of hunger, which caused me to not be able to run. So I ate some bread and now we're running again. Wow, I'm just saying exactly what's on the screen or even what was on the screen moments ago, which is not the most compelling pumpkins. But uh, not every pumpkin be, can be the most compelling pumpkin. So, you know, too bad. Um, sometimes when I find pumpkins, I like to leave a couple. Maybe those three. We'll leave three for the... Uh, for the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Or Holy Spirit. Uh, if you say Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, 
let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you don't say either because you don't believe in that, that's fine. You, and you're welcome to let me know in the comments below, but you don't have to. That's not really uh, the point of today's video. Um, but I think it's interesting, you know, that uh, people... Uh, Trinitarian Christians, tri meaning three, like a triceratops has three horns, or a tricycle has three wheels. A Trinitarian uh, believes in... Interesting, what is this? Ruins? I've never come across this before. We'll have to come back. Okay, where am I? I'm looking for the spinning thing on the map. Oh, I see it, okay. We gotta get cooking, but we will remember that that's there. Can you get on land, please, now? Thank you. Uh, so Trinitarian Christians uh, believe in uh, three. Three gods, or the Trinity. Uh, but uh, the nitty of Trinity is like unity. So it's kind of three in one. It's a very confusing concept. Even people who believe in it don't really uh, know how to explain it well. And uh, that's okay. I think a good explanation of it is that it is a mystery, and that's okay. Uh, if if things that were big and uh, uh, wonderful were so small that we could fully understand them, they wouldn't be as big and wonderful as um, they purport to be, i.e. worthy of worship. Okay, can I bring this guy home? <laughs> that would be a good challenge. Uh, let's get our wheat in our hot bar here and see if we can do it. Oh, I also see a sheep. Okay. Hi, cow. Uh, would you like to come with me? Um, see you later. Okay, don't... Okay. Um, I may accidentally push you a little. That's okay. We gotta be close to home, right? I'm looking... I'm trying to look for light. We're not close to home. We're like over the snowy mountains away from home. How am I supposed to get a pig home? I mean a cow. Wow, he just breathed in my ear like a loud cow. Hey now, loud cow. Can you jump down? Are you brave enough? Do you possess the ability to jump that far? Can you come this way? Come in. Come in. This is some compelling footage, guys. Compelling and rich. Okay, good. Cow. How now, brown cow? Okay. We're going to try to get you home. Hopefully we don't run into a zombie. This is kind of like, oh, well, would you speak of the devil? Okay, can you stay interested in me? I'm going to try to... Oh, hello. <laughs> it's like a zombie uh, rave. Zombie mosh pit. Poof, 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 poof. What's up, fellas? Okay, I'm going to ignore you because um, paying attention to you won't do anything good for me. Okay, cow, can you swim faster than cows in the past? Sometimes a mob just gets so stuck in the water that they're useless. Hey there, party animals. Okay, come on, cow. Yes! I do not want to go through the trouble of catching you, only to lose you, so please stay with me. Oh, lord. Okay, we'll go around. Don't go in the water. Okay, good. Glad the cow doesn't like water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep up. I'm sorry to I'm sorry to hear about your troubles. I'm sure your aunt Gertrude. Oh, we also know that we're going towards zero zero, so I actually want to go this way. Nope. Forty one. How do we make that go to forty? Like that? Oh, we actually want to go that way. Those sheep? That's a llama. We'll go around. We'll see if the cow can do it. Come on, cow. How slow are you going to be? How far are we into the episode? I suppose I could let you guys know I'm going to rescue this cow off camera. And, um... But what even is next? I mean, we filled out this map pretty nicely. I guess I could zoom it out again. This is kind of a garbage map since it's not... Since zero zero isn't in the middle of the map, and I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, another cow! I'm assuming that if I try to do a map wall, the next time I create a map, it's not going to naturally be. Whoa! Hello. 
Uh, what is the button for? There it is. That looks like it goes down a ways. So we will have to make sure that we don't die. Uh, yeah, I guess, I mean, filling out the map and then uh, I'll zoom out the map. We'll get these guys back to base. We'll try to anyway. We're still 70 blocks away on two axes. But we're rounding a corner and going to be on the home stretch soon. As long as these cows are smarter than the average Minecraft cow, we should be okay. Wouldn't take me long to get there. Oh, here's Skeleton. Where is he? Hopefully he does not spot us. Otherwise I'll have to put the wheat away and get out a weapon. And then the cows may lose interest. Which would be a bad deal. Oh man, we're gonna... I have two wheats in my hand too. As soon as we get these cows back home, we're gonna have three. I'm telling you, there's romance in the air tonight. These cows, they're... Uh, they've been sort of sidling up next to each other on this journey and being like, Hey... I love Moo. <laughs> when the Moo hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a moo -ri. What is that? What do I hear? That's the cow bobbing up and down in the water. Okay. Hey, whoa. Parkour cow. Okay, we're getting close, guys. Let's not let anything bad or silly happen now. Just, just stay with me. We're going to get this dumb map out of my hand. You know, I suppose I could put the wheat in my offhand and the sword. Can I do that? No, I can't. And the sword in my other hand. I don't really know how offhand stuff works. I'm used to the offhand holding uh, three things. Maps. Totems of Undying, and for some strange reason, arrows. I guess the reason for that is if you have more than one kind of arrow in your inventory, you could stick the arrow you want to use in your offhand, maybe, so that you shoot your regular arrows and save your um, arrow of slowness or whatever that you got from the bad guy. Okay, where do we stick these cows? Because apparently, sticking sheep in there causes them to die. I mean, cows don't need to be covered up. The reason I covered up the sheep is because I don't want wolves to eat them. Yeah, we're almost there, guys. And then I'm going to feed you. And you are going to have a baby cow, and it's going to be oh so romantic. Okay, come on down, you other cow. Who do you think you are? Some sort of big shot cow? You fall down now, Mr. Cow? Thank you. Alright, do your thing. I want to see a baby cow. There's a baby cow! Who's a baby cow? Um, can they get out? Maybe. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this a legit 3x3. Three three. Uh, look, I have enough dirt. Ugh. So this is the kind of stuff you can expect in this series, is um, doing it old school, man. Getting, getting it done the way... No, you don't. Nice try. You could stay down there. Uh, getting it done old school. So we got a, we got a cow house now. And hopefully they'll stay safe. And we need to put another sheep in here and make sure he doesn't suffocate. I don't know how we're going to do that. Maybe we need to make it bigger. What did I say I was going to do when I got back? Oh yeah, I was going to big in the map. So let's give that a try real quick. We're going to need uh, eight pieces of paper. Which is easy to do. And we'll stick the map in here. What zoom level was that? Oh, and you guys remember where the... um. Underwater Ruins was? Okay, what is this? It's level 3 of 4. So let's try... Let's look at it in our primary hand so we can get a good look at it. What am I doing? Can you undo the shears? Okay, there we go. Oh, holy smokes. That is way zoomed out. 
Uh, can I undo the zoom on that? I'll look into that. Um, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Uh, we had some fun, I hope, a little bit. And uh, until next time, basement dwellers, uh, I think that you are less uh, slow and slow-witted than those cows who just took forever to get home. Oh, and the zombie who's dying in the sunlight. In the basement. <laughs>